I'm in the back of the car with my girlfriend. She pulls her phone out, ready to take a picture. We're on the way home from our first ever date. It was a date at the movies. She has her phone out, smiling very awkwardly at the camera and she presses the take button. I have a quick look at the photo. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But then she posts it on Instagram. And I go on my own iPad, because I don't have a phone at this point, I only had an iPad, to check Instagram to see the photo and like it and comment. But I didn't end up doing any of those things. Because I looked at my face and it looks so round on that photo. Because back when I was 12 years old, well 12 years old at this point, I had a very round face. And I was very insecure of that. It was that Snapchat filter with like the dog tongue and shit. And in my opinion, I looked ugly as fuck. All the comments started coming in from our friends. Oh, you're such a cute couple. And I was just sitting there like my face going red in the middle of the car, not knowing what to do. My girlfriend was sitting next to me and I was looking over this way because I didn't want her to see my red face and I was so embarrassed. And I wasn't gonna tell her to delete it because I didn't want to be me. Now, this is when I really became very insecure as a kid. My insecurity started to come on. I was school captain of my primary school and I was a, always a pretty confident kid. I had the confidence in me. Of course, I'd get nervous sometimes, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I was just a kid. But after downloading social media, comparing myself to other people, my confidence that got me to school captain just dropped. My face would go red every single time I went up and gave a speech at school. And I felt so embarrassed the second half of year six, my last year of primary school. Now my girlfriend and I, we're just pretty good mates. That's what I call it, but we called each other girlfriend, boyfriend. We broke up at the end of the year. Yeah, on pretty good terms. Yeah, we were just friends. We were going to different high schools, so we, it, didn't, it wasn't gonna work out. So I take these insecurities that I have built into high school. There's so many more people, I have no idea who they are. It feels so different. Teachers aren't the same anymore. I walk into school my first day, I, I get called a faggot from some fucking year eight. I don't even know his name. I haven't seen him like basically since year seven. He would have dropped out in year eight or he moved, I can't remember, but he was the type of kid to probably drop out that early. And that kind of kickstarted my very, very low confidence. And then to fuel the fire even more, I'm walking to school my in my fourth day of high school and I'm there pretty early today. My mum has dropped me off. She has the day off. Oh, I'm not getting the bus today. I'm getting there early because I always like to get to school early because I felt like when I got to school early, I could have everything organized. There was no need to stress. I had everything organized, no need for anxiety. And there's this one girl in my year level that is there as well. It's just me and her, that's it. I said to myself, there's no one around. Go and talk to this girl. She doesn't, she doesn't like, she doesn't do anything. I think she was on a computer or something. I don't know what she was doing. So fuck it, let's just go and talk to her. It's just me and her, there's nothing to worry about. I go up to this girl, I say hi. She looks at me back. I can't exactly remember what happened because this was four years ago. But one thing I can remember, we both say hi to each other. She kind of laughs like, hi, like that kind of fucking girl laugh, yeah? And my face goes red as fuck. I'm, I'm talking to this girl, she says hi, and because she did, she said it in a way of like, what the fuck are you doing talking to me? I'm like, shit, what is going on? Is she gonna laugh at me? Is she gonna tell me to go away? So I'm sitting there for like two, three seconds. Don't know what to say, so my face just goes fucking red as fuck. I think I say, how you going or something like that. I try to act confident. I can't really remember where the conversation goes from there, but she ends up leaving me after like 10 seconds into our conversation. But that was fucked for me. And I, that, I did not talk to another girl. I didn't start a conversation with another girl from year seven to year nine, because I had zero confidence because of that. And after that event, I made an oath to myself that I was not going to get a girlfriend until year nine. Until I'd become, because I wanted to make the NBA at this point. Until I'd become a really good player that I'd be satisfied with, I couldn't get a girlfriend. And I'm actually very glad I made that decision. I worked hard every single day. I wouldn't have a girl to distract me. I'm not saying all girls are distractions, but especially younger year relationships. So I had that oath to myself, I'm not gonna date a girl. But there was just one girl in year seven. I've never talked about this in this channel before because I've always had the insecurity that people at my school are gonna be watching these videos and I don't really want them knowing about this, but fuck it, I'm gonna say it anyway. So there was this girl that liked me, right? She found, she found me attractive in year seven, probably to year eight, probably to year nine too. I can't exactly remember, but I found her attractive as well. But I told myself, I gave myself an oath I wouldn't, I wouldn't date her because I needed to become a good basketball player to achieve my dream to play in the NBA. 
I didn't, I didn't, I had no distractions, nothing. Just basketball 24 seven. We'd talk every day after school and I was at home and I'd finished training. I'd talk to her every single night and I was so close to breaking my oath. I really wanted that feeling, that girl by my side, but I told myself I wouldn't, so I didn't. And that was the best decision I ever made. This channel wouldn't exist. Because the reason I started this channel and the reason I've been consistent with it is because of the lessons I learned from that game of basketball. Every single day, grinding, 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 even if you don't see results, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Let's fast forward two years. Lockdown of 2021. I have a massive following of over 500,000 followers on TikTok. Now, the biggest part of this for me at, this, at the time was how people were gonna perceive me because I had still had a lot of insecurity inside of myself from the childhood. Yeah, I never really got much attention from women. I never really did. So I go back to school and the first time in like a year and I'm expecting all these girls to give me so much attention. Now, I'm not gonna go deep into this because I don't want this video to be too long. But long story short, they don't. Nothing changes, no one's attracted to me and I get very down on myself. I thought the following on TikTok, that would have attracted so many women towards me. I was gonna get so much attention at school. That wasn't the case. No one gave a fuck. And it was only in the middle of year nine when I said to myself, it doesn't matter what I do. This attention from these girls that I want attention from are probably not gonna come. They had their own lives to worry about. It doesn't matter what I do. They're probably not gonna pay much attention to me because I thought I was the main character. And when I made the decision to just stop fucking worrying about what these girls are gonna think of me and I made decisions for myself, that's when my whole entire life changed. Every single thing my year nine self wanted, he has. That's not me to brag, but he's reached over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's made his first dollars online. He can actually talk to a camera now. He can talk to a girl without fucking wanting sex from her or some shit. I've achieved everything my year nine self would want simply because I didn't have a woman to distract me. Now, that's not for all relationships. I'm talking to the 95% of men and the 95% of women in high school. Relationships should not be your priority, bro. They should not be in your top three priority for 95% of people. I know a few people at my school that are in relationships and they grow 10 times the amount than they would by themselves. That is a very rare case though. You need to focus, especially when you're young, on building your garden to attract the best possible butterfly out there. Most of the guys out there are trying to chase butterflies. You're not gonna catch them, bro. You have to attract them. That's by building your garden. It is how much money you make. It is how you look. You're attracted, like you, you're a physical attraction. But in my opinion, it's what you want out of life. That's the most important part of your garden. That's the most important part of you. And if a relationship is built off what you actually want in life, not just how you guys look and how much money you make, that's an actual relationship. That's what you're seeking. If your life is not together, because it never really is together because we have no idea what the fuck we're doing, but you get what I mean. If you don't have your shit together, bro, you shouldn't be worrying about women. Simple, that's all I have to say. If you're struggling with breaking your bad habits that are holding you back from building a beautiful garden, go and check out the free training I have for you down below in the description. Join our Discord server, which is will be the second link down below, completely free. Join our community, bro. If you haven't already yet, Hit that subscribe button as always to join the movement of rebuilding this generation. And I'll catch you, brother, in the next video. Peace.